welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and let's configure RIP authentication. And in this one, we're going to configure MD5 authentication. And it's actually not that much harder than plain text authentication. It's a difference of one word and we get to use the same keychain if you want. So we've got our R1 and R2 set up with RIP and I have my keychain configuration saved from a previous video. If I go to show run right here, we've got keychain, rip keychain, keychain one, or a key one, keystring Cisco, key two, keystring Cisco, all this stuff. We also have keychain Bob, key one, keystring Cisco. So if you don't have that, you could simply type that in into both routers, R1 and R2. And by the way, we are using updated topology zero, the two routers and two loopbacks with rip configured in between. Okay, so once you have your keychain configured, all you have to do is go into the interface over an R1 interface fast 00. Basically the same step as configuring plain text authentication. So IP RIP authentication mode. First we pick a mode and you guessed it. This time we're going to pick MD5. IP RIP authentication mode MD5. Hit enter and then IP RIP authentication keychain Bob. Okay, so IP RIP authentication mode MD5, IP RIP authentication keychain Bob. So yes, that's a difference of just one word from authentication mode text to authentication mode Bob or authentication mode MD5. I'm gonna go over to R2. Bring R2 into the window here. Just make sure our keychain is the same. Show keychain Bob. We have uh, Cisco, accept and send lifetime always valid, so that's great. ConfT interface pass 00, zero. IP RIP authentication mode MD5, IP RIP authentication. authentication keychain Bob it's gonna exit out of there wait a couple of seconds then do our show IP route we still have our routes there debug IP rip and debug actually we'll do no debug IP rip here we go. Well, looks like I didn't catch it in time, but that's all right. We have received a packet with MD5 authentication and we didn't get any errors, error messages or anything like that. So it's worked. Do a show IP route and we have a route to the loopback of router one. So that's great. We'll just ping the other side and we've got a good ping. Look at that. Gonna go over to router one show IP route over here everything looks good let's do a show IP protocols and see what shows up and we've got a keychain of Bob you've seen that before under the fast Ethernet interface let's see what happens if we do a show interface fast zero zero might or might not show anything let's see this is just our interface stats show IP interface fast zero zero let's see what we got here and not really too much to see there but if we do a show run show run int fast zero zero this is where we see our IP rip authentication mode MD5 IP rip authentication keychain Bob now if you compare it to the plain text authentication you may remember that when you did plain text, it didn't say IP RIP authentication mode under the running config. All it showed was IP RIP authentication keychain Bob. And because that by default, the authentication is placed into plain text. Okay, so if it is a default setting, when you run the running config show run, it will not show up in the running config. 
Okay, so you're looking for these two sentences, mode MD5 and a keychain, as long as both are the same on both sides, everything is fine. So that, that was a quick and easy video on setting up MD5 authentication inside of RIP. Thanks for watching.